Hello, hello, hello. Well, welcome to the Leveling with Mick podcast. And it's me, Mick, here to give you your podcast needs. Uh, it's been a while since I've done just a regular podcast. I've been, I've been like doing nothing. I have uh, been, I have been posting, as you guys have seen. I've been trying to be consistent with YouTube, so I've been doing that. Now that I've done YouTube like consistently for like a good little t- bit of time, uh, you know, they say three weeks to build a habit. It still don't feel like a habit, but whatever. I'm doing it, and you know, I think that it's time that I also start, uh, you know, trying to get into the streaming part of things. I kind of want to start having something regular from a streaming perspective i just feel like i don't ever want to do anything but the same way i get i get myself and force myself to make sure i have a youtube video up every week i need to try to do that the same have the same energy and vigor when it comes to streaming and just getting on here and doing it uh i say on here as if i'm streaming right now but i'm not streaming i'm actually just recording this so don't worry you didn't miss anything um but yeah, I, I, I want to be able to do that. And it's one of the things that's going to be um, in the works. I'm trying to work on some stuff in general for the channel. So like, you know, I guess that's what we're starting the, this podcast off with, this channel updates. Um, so I'm looking into doing some things um, channel-wise that I think might be pretty interesting. First and foremost, I'm trying to come up with a new logo. I think I have something in mind. I kind of want to pin it down. I'm very, like, it takes me a long time to do all this stuff, because I tend to try to do it all on my own. Why? I don't know. I'm independent. I don't give, I don't give a fuck. I just, I just want to be doing it myself. But, and I, I, it's like, I have friends that can draw, so, like, I can make someone draw it for me, but I don't know. I don't want to like, I, I want to, if I have someone do it, I kind of want to be able to pay them, and I'm poor, and I can't afford that, so I'd rather just try to do it myself, so, too bad um so yeah so that's gonna be a thing i'm trying to work on a new logo i'm gonna do some new art stuff for my channel that i want to do i'm probably gonna work on some of that stuff this weekend maybe uh so maybe i might stream some of that no promises because i'm very bad at these things and i don't know if i want people to see me do these but i might do it so um that's gonna be a thing um, I want to try to change some of the way that I approach videos and maybe even adding some like more stuff from a creative standpoint. I kind of want to just take a look at my content in terms of like how I want stuff to roll out and how I want to approach things and just moving forward, how I want to get every all that stuff settled. So I don't know. I'm going to work on that stuff. So that's going to be a thing. Um, And if I ever get a good logo and stuff like that, then I'm going to, maybe I'll film, I'll change up some of my art for uh, stream as well, but logo first and then kind of everything else will spawn from that because then I'll have like more of a concrete vision of what I want everything to kind of look like. Um, Maybe even a new intro because I've also been wanting to do that. So that's a thing. Like a more simplistic, less anime-esque, but like something very like chill, sweet to the point. And like with, if I get like a more concrete logo that I'm very like proud of and more comfortable with, I think that would uh, make things very like easy or simple or more digestible for me because I'll like it. So there's that. Um, I don't really have anything else. Uh, still posting on Fridays, the streaming thing, don't, I uh, just follow me on Twitter, <laughs> it's twitter.com slash micklock, because I don't know when I'm doing any of that stuff, I keep saying I want to do it, but I, no, I never know when I'm going to do it, so, um, but I am trying to, I want to, I want to stream more, um, and I just kind of want to figure that part of it out, I, I just want to find like a good time frame, like what really works for me consistently and kind of have that be a consistent thing and then just do pop-up streams whenever uh, but I want to have at least one to two consistent days at least um, I want to do the weekends obviously but I don't know, sometimes I just be sleep all, all damn day in the weekend so really it don't make no sense um, and I be, I be playing like League all the time with some of my friends and they be cussing and doing all kind of crazy stuff Not, I cuss all the time, so now I mean shit but they be saying some wild shit, so I don't, I don't know. I can't be being like, yo, y'all can't talk crazy every time I want to play with them. <laughs> so I don't feel like it's fair to them. Um, 
that's kind of one of the reasons why too. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, do I have any more channel updates? No, it's just been so long since I just had the just talked to the mic. Uh, usually it's always like a video and stuff, and I'm just talking about the video and stuff like that, and everything's so quick. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to get it all out while I can before we get into the topic. Um, I don't think I have any more updates for the channel. I think that's kind of it. The first five minutes was just all channel updates. So if too late, I can't do anything about it. But I guess I just I can probably do it in post, but I'm not going to. So too bad. Hi. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the main topic for this episode. And it is spooky season. Yes. Oh my god. Spooky season. It's my favorite time of the year. I love like around the Halloween time when like all the scary stuff is out and everybody's like, into like all the stuff. It sucks because you know there's COVID and there's not really like Halloween parties, which let me tell you, I've never really been to a Halloween party like that. So I'm I w I really want to go to one and I can't wait for COVID to be over so I can go to one. I also am really excited for um just watching horror movies as much as I can and um, which I've been doing and uh, also scary games right and that's kind of like the topic the scary games that are out like do, what how do people really feel about spooky games now let me just say me personally I've never been really a big fan of of um, horror horror games in general um, not, and I've never really and it's not like Let's just say it's not that I'm not a fan. It's that I have um, not found one that just moved me to want to play. And um, it's uh, pretty interesting because, like, like I think probably the, the first horror game that I, I... I've never played, like, Resident Evil. So I've never had, like, that Resident Evil experience. And I don't know if those will be classified as horror games, but I guess sort of, right? Um, and... I've not played any of those. I think I remember played the first, very first one I played was like Resident Evil 4. And I played it very briefly. I played a little bit of it. And I didn't like it. It was third person. So, and it was like a shooting game. So basically, but like, yeah, I, I hated that it took so many bullets to, sh to kill a zombie. And I was really bad at aiming because I'm bad at aiming on a controller. And um, it was just very tiring. And annoying and i didn't like having to go through it um so that's kind of just not been my thing at all um but i want to try to get into one like i kind of want to do it i feel like that's just everybody's played like a resident evil or something like that and i just want to feel like i have a part of that number you know i've grown up um, over the years, obviously, because the way that time moves in a linear fashion, I have to grow up. I don't have any choice. Um, but my tastes have also evolved, right? There's certain aspects of gaming that I wasn't really into when I was younger, that I've grown older and become more fond of and uh, taken a liking to. So I think I could probably try to approach it differently these days, and maybe I might have a more, you know... Uh, I may have a better outlook on it, especially if I try it on PC. Because before I was on a console, if anybody knows me, they know I'm terrible at aiming on console. It's just a thing. I'm just bad at it. I try to get better. It's just worse. It's just terrible. So I think that um, if I had it on PC, probably make my life a little bit easier because then I'll probably be able to, you know, get more things involved and that kind of stuff. And it'll be, you know, cool. So. Um, and I'll probably aim a lot better with a mouse and keyboard, just saying, because I play any shooting game I've ever played has been on here, really, like Fortnite, Overwatch, Valorant, all that stuff. Played on here, so, you know, it's probably been fun. Even Destiny, I played that way better on here than I did on console. So, might try that. That might be a thing. Um, what else? Um, I think I've played... Damn, I cannot remember the name. There was a zombie game um, that I tried that was like uh, Dying Light is what it's called. I tried that out. That one was interesting. Um, I played that all of five minutes. Typical, not to say anything bad about the game, just very typical of me and my gaming experience. I play a lot of games for a very short period of time and never play them again. Especially games that I don't really want, I just buy on a, like a whim. And that was definitely a game I bought on a whim. Um, another one that I bought on a whim was Evil Within. And a funny story, 
the evil within is probably the predecessor of this entire channel um way way back before like this is, i think even within when did i get that on ps4 3 i don't even remember um someone can tell me when it originally released out um but i remember i wanted to see how i would react playing games like i wanted to see like you know me playing something for the very first time me reacting to it and kind of how i would act on camera just to kind of gauge what my reactions are in general just because i wanted to see what that's like from like a recording standpoint this is bef- my thought process before i even started youtube this is years before it actually um me wanting to do it but i wanted to kind of understand like would it be would i be good for it you know and um i recorded a video of me watching it within and I I think I still have a video I recorded on my MacBook and I think I still have it on my MacBook in fact. Um yeah, I'm not sure if I looked at that MacBook to see what's on there. Ugh. I should probably definitely do that actually, now that I think about it. Anyway, um uh but yeah, so I remember I recorded it and I watched it back and I was like, This is interesting to say the least. Like it was like different. I think it's probably if you've been here a long time and honestly you can go back and watch some like my very 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 old content um it is probably very similar to that if honestly probably a little bit worse one obviously there's no editing but um i don't know i think it was i wasn't really that comfortable in front of the camera and i wasn't talking to the camera or doing anything like that very youtube it was more of just me recording me playing the game to see what it looks like when i actually play a game um and that was kind of like the thing so that's just like an interesting story about the evil within i also never fully finished that game i never really played it either i played what i recorded and what i played was the only bit of the game that i actually played literally never played it again so that's that like it's just that it's not that these games are bad it's just none of them really moved me they're never really like interesting to be like yo i really want to play that like that's so good like i'm interested in this mechanic and whatever you know what i mean like it's not like goes to Tsushima that looks super cinematic and it's like really nice combat and it's very entertaining to look at and the story is pretty interesting too it's not like Kingdom Hearts which is an all time favorite it's an RPG there's a story that's super convoluted but I still love it anyway and it's just a fun game fun game and just great story whatever like it's not like any of those that it doesn't have something that draws me in you know it's just hey I'm spooky and I'm just like cool and you'd think that I like it because I like this kind of stuff but it's um it hasn't swayed me i haven't found one that just made me want to play um and it's funny because i think that right now i one of the one of a really popular game that's out right now actually is um phasmophobia and that is a horror game about uh finding ghosts and identifying them and it is very very interesting I haven't really played it, played it like that. I actually had um, a friend that I talked about, and I said, hey, you know, and you guys have, uh, know who I'm talking about. You guys have um, seen him on the channel. It's Polo Bear TV. He was on one of the podcast episodes. He's been on a couple, he's been on a few videos. So um, there's that. So, you know, I'll probably, like, post a link to the video for his Phasmophobia video in, uh, in the description, and I'll probably, like, put it on the screen somewhere. I don't really know. I think I don't remember how to do annotations because it's not like it was back in the old days of YouTube. So I don't know how that any of that stuff works, but it's gonna be somewhere up there. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's it's a very interesting game. I played it with him, um, and man, it's so funny because like when you watch the videos for these games or you're watching them play them, it's really not that scary. I think from a perspective of where you're watching them because of, ironically enough he also did a reaction to someone playing it and in the reaction he's like it's not that scary why are they talking like this blah 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 and then we sat down to play it and it's just like having the headphones on and the you're being in the house it's dead it's dark as hell even if you're in your own room and it's bright in your room it's just like you're staring into this the screen it's dark in this room you hear all the sounds everything sounds super close especially if you have like these really like good headphones that are like surround sound and everything like that like you can hear around you um and the vision is so small like you can um you have like a flashlight but the, the literally that little circle of light from the flashlight is the only thing you can see literally nothing else not even like in regular darkness where you can kind of like see a little bit oh i just hit y'all my bad um 
but even like if you see like a little bit in the dark it's crazy how you like just <laughs> you just cannot see uh, it's pretty interesting we this mind you let me just say this was the training thing this motherfucker was spooked by the training thing but in his defense it's a very it's the ambiance to it it definitely lends itself to you know it being a, a horror game because it really really drives that point with how they set it up it's like it's not super visual like i don't even think i think any of the ghosts are really like super super crazy looking or anything like that it's just that the way that everything is kind of set up to really scare you and kind of the anticipation of it all i think is really what is what's scary because like in movies and like some shows and stuff like that, like there's uh, there's audio cues, um, which is one of the things I remember we had a conversation about me and um, Polar Bear, and he, it's like you you have a uh, normal audio cues to know when something's going to happen, right? Most movies and stuff and horror stuff they always go about jump scares and jump scares always like happen because it goes there's music and then it goes silent or the music changes rapidly or something like that. So you always kind of know if you're paying attention that something's about to happen whereas with like you know <laughs> with this game it's not like that at all there's no real audio cues or anything like that not that i've heard or seen anyway they kind of just happen oh maybe they don't have audio cues maybe when you die but from what i've seen and and um but yeah it's really there's no like audio cues you're just like hoping for the best really and uh, it's crazy because it's like you're going in and you're trying to investigate and all this stuff like that. And it's like there's no buildup to to make you think something's going to happen. It just is silent and then something can happen in that silence. So it's like there's this like very grungy and like gripping ambience to the entire game that is uh, pretty fascinating so that game is interesting and it's multiplayer so like that's also interesting so it's like great so you can you and a couple of friends can sit down and play and it's like super super fun um so i think that's interesting that's something i want to also do maybe a video or a stream on i don't know maybe uh me and polar bear can collab and do like a, a two-part series where he does one and i do one kind of thing in like one week where like he posts on tuesday and then i post on friday kind of thing so maybe we can i might have to talk to him but maybe we do something like that or if he hears about podcasts you know whatever you, you heard me you whatever we'll talk about it anyway um so yeah so i think that'll be interesting um especially if we can get some more people to play with us because i also think that'll be super fun as well um but yeah i think it's like i think it's like a good i think that's like a good one but like again the multiplayer that's probably the only one that has something that's interesting to me because it is in fact multiplayer and i think that is the interesting part the selling point that makes me want to play because it's multiplayer right like you play with your friends so it's like okay cool like me and my friends can all play and be scared it's like going to a haunted house together especially with covid because we can't go to a haunted house together <laughs> like you can't go to none of that stuff because they're not out like they're, most of that stuff's in the clothes so it's a good uh kind of um you know, uh, caveat because of that. So there's that. Um, but yeah, other than that, most other horror games, honestly, I feel like are very like survival esque, or like they don't, you can't do anything. I mean, granted, in this game, you can't really do anything either. You're kind of just running and maybe identifying stuff, and then there's like a cross so you can stop people, stop the thing from hunting you. But I ain't too much, you know. Um. But, like, if you think of, like, games like Outlast, right, it's just you're running and trying to hide, and you don't want to get hit or attacked or anything like that. And I think that's, like, super interesting because it's, like, you are – how do you put this? It's interesting because, like, there, it's all it's like a puzzle game, basically. It's, like, you're – how do you get away from this person? You don't have any any – items you can't hit them you can't attack them which one of our instincts are right you have to run and you have to hide but how do you outrun this thing how do you hide from it so it doesn't find you and i think that's super interesting to kind of see how that kind of pans out um 
But uh, but Outlast is like one of those games that I've watched so many people play that I don't know that I can play it and be interested in it because I've seen it so many times. Outlast, Outlast 2. And so I think it'd be cool. I might try to see if I can get Polar Bear to stream it maybe. I might gift it to him honestly and just so he can play it on Steam. Um, but because uh, he, he's going to have the first experience so that's content for him that's great. I'm not going to have that same experience because I've watched it so many times which it sucks sometimes watching content because like you then spoil some of the games because now you can't go back and get a really good reaction initially you can go back and play it sure but like some of that stuff may not hit the same way because i already know what's gonna happen and i've played through the game uh maybe i plan- might still do it i don't know because uh, what do i know i don't remember that game that damn well i mean i just watched it play i, 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 I don't know. memorized the game i honestly don't even remember how it ends uh, so um i could maybe do something like that i don't know we'll see um. So that could be interesting. I want to. I want to play scary games this month, and I uh, because I want to step into that role. And today is, as I'm recording this, it says Friday the ninth. It's technically Thursday night. I don't like saying it's the next day until the sun come up. So that's just how I feel. Uh, but it's Thursday night, even though it's technically two in the morning. So you'll be alright. Um. I just feel like that would be the wave to like do that. I, I posted on Twitter actually um, very recently, like what kind of horror games would people recommend? And um, I did hear Dead Space, Dead Space 1 and 2. Um, so maybe I might look into that. I actually did recently buy them because they were actually on sale on Steam for like $5. So I'll just like, fuck it, just buy it. It's like $10, whatever. Also, I bought those games, so maybe that's something that I'll probably stream. But, man, I want to do that. But then also, there's so many other games that came out that I want to play. Baldur's Gate just came out in Early Access, which I've been waiting on, even though I'm terrible at that game. Um, Genshin Impact is out, so I've been trying to play that. Even though I'm not really playing it like that, like that, but, like, playing that. Um, I really need to get the, these Worlds tokens for this set skin in League. Like, I'm just trying my best out here and it's uh, it's so funny um speaking of league why is it that every time i'm doing a podcast and i'm recording this video i'm always playing jungle i'm never playing any other role every time i'm just i'm just pointing it out because i just remember that while i'm recording this and i'm looking at the video and it's like wow i'm literally always playing jungle every time that i do this podcast it's crazy um but yeah so that's I don't know it's just the, the it's just like spooky games are so interesting and it's like this weird genre that I'm just not really tapped into because it's they're not um, a thing now I'm not really like friends with this guy but and he doesn't need purple free and I don't, I ain't nobody to send no people like to him but this guy it's named Syriax that I watch on YouTube um, that it's a cool guy he's pretty funny. Um, he is doing like a challenge where he's playing like 30 different horror games every day and he's posting like every day basically um this month and it's so interesting watching all those videos because you hear, see all these different games and seeing which ones are kind of spooky which ones are not spooky and that kind of thing and um like i saw a kid did the one on until dawn and i feel like i've never seen this gameplay of until dawn and i was like oh this is like um Life is strange, or like uh, the the uh, I would say destroy humans. Detroit become human, that one. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I've never really seen that, but it, I think that's like really good. It's I've been because I've been look, paying attention to that, looking at other horror games to possibly play. But I kind of want to do that. Maybe I'll do like if I have a day, if I can ever figure out a set schedule to stream. Maybe set for the next couple of Fridays. Maybe I don't know. Hold on, let me see how many. How much time do we have? Hold on. I'm going to tell you. We have, like, technically three more. Four, uh, not counting the one that's coming this Well, counting the one this week, there are four more Fridays in this month. Dang, that's a lot of Friday, Saturdays. Saturdays. That's a lot of Saturdays. Should they? So if I did want, like, a spooky game for, like, a couple of hours every Saturday when I streamed, and then, you know, if, if I could do that, if I could stream at least on Saturdays, um, that'd be cool. Um, because that's like four different games, or if I just get through enough or whatever, maybe I like it enough that I do it on a Sunday. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever, we'll see. Uh, but that's something that I could look into, uh, and possibly end up doing. I think that'll be pretty fun. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just I just want to get into it. I want to try something. But like you guys, you know, this is a conversation. So you guys, let me know in the comments, right? What, how do you guys feel about horror games, spooky games, anything that's supposed to like make you scared or anything like that? And maybe not even and extend the conversation out for past games. What about, um, you know, like what are those things called? I, movies what are those <laughs> movies uh, movies that's what they're called they're called movies uh <laughs> like scary movies or any or tv shows or anything like that like how do you guys feel about like scary content in general like does it does it work for you does it not work for you just too scared for it or is it something that you're like not really into um very interested to hear people's feedback on that because that's uh kind of like the theme of the month because it's spooky season you know get spooked um, and so with that, that is the episode uh, this week. Um, so go ahead and, uh, as per usual, check me out on all of my social medias because that's what uh, the good YouTubers tell everybody because social media is an inter- engagement. Also, engagement on the channel, you know, like the video comment that's fun sharing it is also a thing that you can do if you have not been here before and this is your first time if you made it this far subscribe that's a thing i'll probably put a subscribe button somewhere in the beginning of the video too just because um but uh but yeah so feel free do all that stuff like comment subscribe share all that stuff follow me on all of my social media i'm micklock everywhere so that's instagram twitter and twitch uh definitely um, stay close to the Twitter because like, that's kind of where I post uh, if I'm going to stream or anything like that. If you guys are interested in that kind of content, I stream on Twitch. Um, and uh, yes, there's that. Um, I have nothing else. So with that being said, Mick out.